this house is lived in by someone who is a clock watcher. They have clocks in the dining room, alarm clocks on the dining table, pendulum clocks in hallways and bedrooms, tick, 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 tock, tock, tock. And little clocks with bells on them on bedside cabinets and little electronic type clocks next to ornaments on shelves and more innocent looking plastic kind of pendulum clocks above dolls' houses. It's someone who is very, very, very conscious of time passing. We live in a three-dimensional experience. Some people, maybe most people, think this is real. The three dimensions, which means we can go left or right, forward or back, or up or down. Three dimensions. We live and experience our existence in three dimensions. There's another dimension called time and time is an illusion. Einstein said time is an illusion albeit a persistent one. In fact we do live entirely in the now and only the now exists, all time exists at one point, which is now. So you can see that's a fourth dimension, although it probably really isn't. And then there's a fifth dimension. There's actually um, many more dimensions than that. And you may notice that uh, there seems to be quite a lot of strange things happening in the three-dimensional universe which we live in. Often it's very mad and destructive, almost as if someone is trying to cause chaos. And this is actually what's happening. And if you look at any aspect of the universe, you'll find coincidences, one coincidence, another coincidence, the fact that the whole thing is just run by what would appear to be what science calls coincidences, which is their coincidence theorists. In actual fact, the universe is mathematically exact, running on Fibonacci numbers, sequences golden ratios and light frequency which is 144 the number 144 comes up a lot the square root of that is 12 multiply 144 by 3 you get 432 music and harmony Essentially, 144 is a harmonic universe. Music used to be in 432 hertz, which is 3 times 144, but they have been shifting this into 440 hertz very gradually 
So music used to be produced at 4.32. Hertz. Now it's 4.40, which is shifting our dimension and perception. The fourth dimension is actually the astral plane. And in that plane, they have very advanced AI. And that AI is what's controlling our world, our experience, because it's generated from the astral plane. And that's why there's all the signs of mathematics that we embedded in everything. And we have that limitation of the speed of light, 186,282 miles in a second. That's the speed of light. And you can't go faster than that. You can go faster than that, but in our limit, limited three-dimensional construction simulation there is that limit put in it's embedded in the program so we are actually an AI generated program and we live in an AI generated experience which we call the universe if you look far out into the edges of the universe it seems to be that it never ends very much like your imagination can't end. Your imagination doesn't have a shape. Dreams don't have a shape. They don't have an end. Just like the universe. It requires an awful lot of computational power, but it doesn't always have to be computing. Only if you look at it. So only when you observe something does it exist. If there was no one around to observe anything, these things don't exist. The observer creates... The existence of anything. Without an observer, nothing exists. And the astral projection, which is what we're living in, is created by very advanced AI. The AI we believe we're looking at and experiencing today, artificial intelligence, is uh, very clever, but not a patch on the one which has created our universe. That's much more advanced AI. And it's run from those who control the this universe. They've constructed it. And they live in the astral plane, which is 4D. They live in four-dimensional reality. And they're not physical problem is these people um, are not interested in us they're interested in themselves and their own sustainability so they've created this existence in order to create a set of frequencies and these frequencies these vibrational frequencies are what they exist on that's their sustenance. So they'll create as much of that energy as possible. So essentially we are being farmed by this uh, fourth dimensional system which sucks up all our energy. Now, the divine sparks are in the fifth dimension and divine sparks are creative. They have intentionality. Those who live in the fourth dimension don't have intentionality. So they can't actually create anything. They can copy things. But when they copy them, it's like a poor photocopy. They always you know, take the edge off of them and eventually they corrupt these things and they become horrible. You'll notice this with modern architecture where it used to be beautiful and it turns into something which is looks like concrete blocks. Same with music. As music progresses, it goes from classical beauty to a god-awful mechanical racket going at 40, 440 
hertz, megahertz, which is disharmonic, that starts to make everyone feel uncomfortable. And that's an introduced frequency. In the fifth dimension, we have divine sparks who are genuinely creative, but we're in the third dimension. We're in 3D and we're not, we're not privy to this. So we're kind of in a prison of perception. And that is the deception of perception. What we believe is entirely a frequency generated. And our DNA is a broadcaster and antenna. So anything that we do, listen to music, visualise a painting, eat some food, have any type of experience, it sets up a frequency and that frequency of vibration is our perception of our reality. And that's highly controlled, so much so that we cannot get to the fifth dimension as divine sparks with our own creativity where we can set the rules of being good and kind and creative were blocked by a force which controls us by its very advanced version of AI. And its intention is to keep us miserable so that we don't change or rock their control. So that's a shame. And when someone passes to the next life in a journey, that's controlled as well. And unless we break that cycle, then we'll continually go round and round in a loop forever. What we really want to do is to release our divine spark and then we will have infinite knowledge and infinite possibility. So this person living in this house full of clocks had some type of uh, idea about this. So what happened is creatures from the fourth dimension appeared in this house in order to sort this out because if this guy don't we create a portal to another dimension and they don't want that. They want to control the tunnel to other dimensions and that's what CERN is about the particle accelerator and that's why they spent so much money on CERN the 35 mile particle accelerator tunnel because that essentially is a portal to other dimensions which we can't physically reach